I'm really tall. I'm funny and I love to talk. I like rock music and I like shooting hoops. I am a cancer survivor. Kevin York was born with a cleft soft palate and has endured over a dozen ear surgeries to correct hearing problems. At 13, the Temple City teenager was getting ready for yet another surgery when his blood work came back abnormal. My cell counts were really low and I had to have a lot of tests. A bone marrow biopsy revealed Kevin had acute myelogenous leukemia, or AML, a cancer of the blood and bone marrow. Basically, I had two choices. Either I get a bone marrow transplant or I die. Because Kevin's cancer was unlikely to respond to chemotherapy alone, a bone marrow transplant, or BMT, offered the best possibility for long-term survival. Because I'm a nurse, I, mean, I knew that the bone marrow transplant was a serious procedure, that physically it wasn't easy um, on anybody, but that his only hope for survival was the bone marrow transplant. Kevin received a bone marrow transplant and became an inpatient at City of Hope's Helford Hospital for five and a half weeks. Fortunately, Kevin had donors he could count on. Some he knew, some he didn't. One group that helped out Kevin is known for coming to a person's aid in their time of need. Kevin's dad is a police officer and I'm a nurse in the fire service. I've been in the fire service for 26 years. These gentlemen have known Kevin for his entire life. In fact, when I was nine months pregnant with him, I was sitting in a jump seat with the sirens screaming. So the fire service is now part of Kevin in a really wonderful way. They have their blood going through his veins. Well, the first thing we did when we found out Kevin was sick is all the guys got together and went right down everything we possibly could to help. As a firefighter, we're in the business of saving lives, and this is just one more way that we were able to do that. Kevin being part of our family, it was really important to all of us to really try to participate as much as we could. Today, Kevin is doing well. Although he struggles with some of the side effects of bone marrow transplantation, he's hopeful. I just look at it like it turned out for the best. I would have died and I got a second chance at life. Because of the seriousness of the cases treated at City of Hope, our patients need more blood and platelets per day than patients at any other major medical center surveyed in Southern California. Every month, more than 2,500 blood transfusions are given at City of Hope, and over 30,000 units are transfused each year. The City of Hope Donor Center is one of the busiest hospital donor centers in the country. It has been in operation for over 30 years. You can donate whole blood every eight weeks. You can also donate platelets, the small cells that help blood clot. They only last five days, so there is a constant need. You can donate platelets more often, every 14 days. The blood and platelet donation process is designed to be comfortable and safe. Because all the supplies that come in contact with your blood are sterile, one-use only supplies, it is not possible to contract infectious diseases by donating blood or platelets. For more detailed information about donor eligibility, visit the Blood Donor Center on the City of Hope website at www.cityofhope.org. To make the donation process more convenient, City of Hope can also conduct a blood drive at your organization. Our donor recruitment team can help you organize the event. For additional information or to make an appointment, call us at 626-471-7171 or email us at donateblood at coh.org. A little of your time can mean a lifetime for another. Donate blood. Save a life. Be a hero.